by Logan Seavey to scrap his way from the 12th position where he started. He's up to ninth already, man. David Burr yeah. is so good he, he, through he, one and two. He's hungry. I mean, he made a real strong stab with the throttle going into one. I thought he might try to go to the inside, and it looks like the Dave Burkheimer car is pulling in to the pit area. Yeah, they showed the black flag for Burkheimer for not meeting minimum speed, so Burkheimer pulls off the racetrack down into pit lane. David Burns so hungry. But you wonder so often, Pat, with Cody Swanson being so smart at this kind of racing, when drivers get really, really close to him, you wonder how much is Cody just letting off to conserve that race car. Yeah, and he's smart about really maintaining the rubber. That's so very important here. The sun came out after a dismal morning that had us all crossing our fingers. Now everything. A Grant, fourth in the last trip here. He's doing one spot better than that. He's in third. And I don't want to say harassing David Byrne, but keeping him honest. Well, Justin Grant's had some pavement experience going back to his days at the Bay City's Racing Association. Midget scored his first silver crown win on the pavement at Winchester and coming off a really nice night of racing at Tri-State Speedway. You're right, he's harassing David Byrne at the moment. A little bit farther back in the field, they're on the back straightaway, heading through turns three and four. Those are teammates for Hamilton Bird Racing. Davey Hamilton Jr. and Nathan Whoa. Bird tried to split through traffic and Kyle Robbins gets tagged in the melee. Robbins around over in turn one. Watch the tire, folks. Heads up in the pits. Heads up. Heads up. Nathan Bird in the black and red number 11 and his teammate, Davey Hamilton Jr., were literally swerving through slower traffic. And Kyle Robbins was just up in front minding his own business. Hamilton Jr. getting into the back and... Sub it. At tough break. He just was a victim of circumstance. Let's go down to Drake York for a report from the infield. Well, thank you, Tony. Right now, just looking at the weather a little bit ago before we started the race, it was 83 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And what pavement does is when it gets hot, it gets slick out on the racetrack. And especially when more rubber is laid down on the racetrack, I've been especially looking at turns three and four. It seems like since the start of the race, turns four especially has already gotten a little bit where, for example, Jordan Swanson will go to work. There's a bigger picture at stake here. That's the championship. I mean, Cody Swanson right now needs to have a quality finish and stay in front of Logan Seavey. That's what he has to do over the course of this event. Winning is a bonus. Seavey started 12th. He was ninth before the caution. He's now up to 8th, but he's got those teammates right behind him. Nathan Bird and Davey Hamilton Jr. hot on the 222 trail as they head for turn number one. But Seavey now solidly has the 8th position. Now, eighth position for Logan Seavey, but he knows what he has to do, and the guy he's got to get in front of has stretched his advantage in that 77 machine. Jake Day coming out of turn number four. Kyle O'Gara, the Beach Grove, Indiana driver, and Tyler now has smoke coming out of the right side. Well, that number 81, or at least for a moment he did over in turns one and two. Let's remember that Cody Swanson has also had great success at the Little 500. He knows what it means to pace himself over the long haul. No surprise to me, he's now pulled away. Now in the second half of this race, Brian Tyler smells blood in the water on Kyle O'Gara. But how about the teammate cars from Hamilton Bird Racing? Nathan Bird in sixth, his teammate Davey Hamilton Jr. right behind him in seventh. They have stayed glued to each other through the first half of this race, and they're both trying to crack into the top five now. Yeah, that's a good call, Tony. They've had a really good day. Now, right now, Jordan Swanson, in a very calm and measured way, is probably relaying some information to her husband. Davey Hamilton Jr. runs high through, the turn, through turns one and two. Kyle O'Gara backs up a little bit into the clutches of Brian Tyler. Tyler might have himself a groove down on the inside. Wants to show O'Gara a nose. O'Gara leaves the door open, though. Pat Tyler's trying to find his way around for fourth. Yeah, meanwhile, have been side by side for one entire lap as Nathan Bird has had to fend off constant challenges from Davey Hamilton Jr. How good does that number 14 feel? Now, Brian Tyler wants to get a little racy with the one of Kyle O'Gara. This is for fourth and it's a four car battle. The Hamilton Bird cars may just try to split Brian Tyler. 
as they try to crack into the top five here. This is incredible stuff. A four-car race for the fourth position. Oh, man. Kyle O'Gara, he's got them all stacked up behind. Now, Tyler takes a look down the back straight away. No, he doesn't pull the trigger yet, but that allows Nathan Bird to start to make a run on the outside. Nathan Bird challenging for fifth. But meanwhile, Bobby Santos the third is in second. Bobby Santos the third has moved into the second position. Oh, and by quite a lot as David Byrne being dispatched. Sounds a little sour as he went by. Yeah, being dispatched quickly. He's back to third now and is quickly going to fall into the clutches of that four pack of cars racing fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Here they come out of three and four. Santos starting to go to the whip here. Now Bobby Santos the third now. This is what we think about all the time. Oh, Guerra starts to get bum rushed over in one and two. Brian Tyler gets one position away. He brings Nathan Bird with him. Here comes Davey Hamilton Jr. It's a three-car backslide for O'Gara. Wow. Santos really he, starting to reel in. He's, this is what's happening now. Has he held something back? Is Cody Swanson holding something back? Spotters going to work. Swanson. Brian Tyler took the green flag for this race back in the seventh position. He now runs third. David Byrne, who started this race in third, one spot negative in fourth. Here. Whoa! In front of your leaders! And somehow, 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 Cody Swanson avoided that. Was there any contact? Wow. That's how quickly things can change. Well, I'll tell you, if the 14-11 can get around David Byrne, a two cars in the top five for the Hamilton Bird Racing Team would certainly bring a smile to that group. Five laps left. Six tenths of a second. The gap stays even from lap to lap now. Cody Swanson chasing his fifth Raleigh Beal Classic here in the Glass City. And that sixth Silver Crown Series title. Yeah, it's also a championship. The incomparable Cody Swanson. Bobby Santos, the third Brian Tyler. What a run for BT. David Bird, Davey Hamilton Jr., Nathan Bird, Kyle O'Gara, Austin Niemeyer, Taylor Fur, 